Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own horn sounds for trains and to replace them within rail vehicles. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Alright, first thing that you're going to want to do is create a horn asset file. Now, you can do this by creating a whole new asset, or if you get the permissions, you can just simply clone one. But just know that if you clone one, make sure to clone one in the right perspective of what you're trying to create. For today, we're going to be creating a two-part horn. So. I'm going to clone one of mine, and any of mine, if you want to clone it and make a new version of it or whatever, you're more than welcome to do. I don't care. But, we're going to clone the CSX ET44AH K5HLL, of which you can get on the website wit-simulations.com. Now, to clone it, click on the asset, content, clone. Now, where you're under, uh, if you're under my content or whatever, if you go to today you be able to see that new asset here. This is the asset that we just cloned. Let's open it up. Show and explore. Now, to give you an example, this is what the horn sounds like now. That's the horn start. That's your horn loop. And that's your bell. Right? Right. The idle one is always going to be mostly a bell. We're gonna go, let's go into the config. In here... The only thing that we're going to be changing is the name. So, today, I'm going to be creating a RS5T off of CSX6977. So, we'll go ahead and just make it CSX6977. Uh, RS5T. Right? Right. So you'll need a, um, basically, and that's all that you will need to do here in the config file. So we'll exit all of it, make sure to save. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a program called Audacity. I will leave a link to Audacity in the description below. Once you download Audacity, what you need to do first is go to Audio Setup. Go to host and set this to Windows WAS API. Usually it'd be set on MME when you first install it. But set it to Windows WAS API. Then go to recording device. Make sure that your recording device is whatever your speakers or your headphones that you're using. It will say on the side. And it's in a, it'll be in brackets, it says loop back. Make sure to click loop back. And for example, now, whenever you record a track, if you hit record, and then press play on something, see how it's not recording my voice? If you just press play on something, it records it. So now, we have the horn file. Let's get rid of all the, ac the excess stuff. We only want the horn file itself. Right? Right. Now some things are going to sound a little weird. If we was to upload this... If we was to upload this as is, it would be too quiet in trains. I will make sure to turn this down for you guys as well. That way it's not so loud on your guys' end. But, we do need to make it louder. You're going to control A. Effect. Volume and Compression, Amplify. We're going to amplify this by 6 decibels. That'll give us a nice little sound. Be a nice sound that it can also be heard 
in trains. So, as you saw in your new horn that you created, your horn start, horn loop. These two are the these two are pretty easy files to create. Let's take a look at what your horn start is going to be. So, your horn start is usually about not even a second, maybe a half of a second of the audio file. Not even a half a second, maybe even not e maybe not even a quarter of a second. See, this file is not even two seconds long. To get our horn start, at the very top, click and drag over to about a quarter of a second. Press play to make sure you have just the start of the horn. Sounds pretty good. Now on the audio file itself, click from where the where you have this checked end all the way over. And delete. The only thing that was left should be your horn start. Also, real quick, if the, you are recording and it's bringing up two different stereos and not one, simple fix for that as well. Right click on the on the side here and you'll be able to see where it says split stereo to mono. This will create those double tracks into a one track, and then you can, or two one tracks rather, and you can delete the other one. Remember, everything in trains needs to be in mono, or else the sound is not right at all. So now that we have our horn start, let's save it. So control A, file, export, export as a WAV file. Trains reads in WAV files, so this is what we need to save it as. And we're going to save it as a horn start. Yes, I already have one that already exists. However, if you don't have one that already exists, make sure to, to name it horn underscore start whenever you save it. And thus it renders. Find wherever you save that file, which for my case would be in the uh, documents, audacity, horn start. Make sure it's the right one. Say if you have for multiple, and it's the right one. Then we're going to drag this over and replace the replace the. And we're going to drag this over and replace the one that's already in there. So now you should have your new horn start. We do. Now, let's go back into Audacity because we're need to, going to need to create the loop. Now the loop in Audacity is also going to sound a little weird. But it'll still work for what we got. Control Z to bring everything back up. Click and highlight your horn start. Delete it. Now on your timetable, bring it over about close to the end, but not at the end. And we should have us a nice little loop. Now, it's going to have a, have that sound, that little click inside of Audacity. However, it sounds better in trains. We will show, I'll show you guys in game. And now I want you to click from here at the very end and highlight the rest of the track. Delete it. Now we're going to control A, file, export as wave. And this one's going to be horn loop. Do the same thing as before. Go back into your audacity folder, drag the horn loop. Make sure it's the right one. Into the asset folder. Replace the file in the destination. And then thus you have your horn. Horn start. And a horn loop. Right? Right. But. I copied this off of the Jivo. So it has an e-bell. We don't want an e-bell. We want a mechanical bell. Like this. Luckily for me. There's a nice little audio file right there where this train is moving slow because whenever you're recording horns for trains, 
off of YouTube videos or off of your own videos. You want horn sounds where the trains are close to you and going slow. You don't want the, the sound of them coming really fast because that's not how the horn actually sounds. That's your perception of the horn. So, now, now that we have a pretty good sound for this, let's record that bell and make that bell into the uh, horn file. So what we're going to do, we're going to delete the rest of our horn because we don't need anything else. We're not creating a three part. Also, don't ask me how to create a three part because to be honest with you, I have no idea. I've always failed at them. But we're going to hit record again and record for the bell. That's all we need. So, we're going to stop. Delete that. Like the tidbit at the end, control A, effect, repeat, amplify. We want that little tick. But it doesn't need to be that long. And just to make sure it's not a little too quiet, we're going to repeat the Amplify. Let's do it again. Thus we have the bell. Now it still has the engine, the engine sound in there behind it, but I think it will still come out pretty good in trains. We'll see. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. You get the drift. But control A, export, export as wave. Now this one will have to rename because I don't have another one. But let's rename it as such. Let's go into here into our asset folder. We, we know what the bell is. And what we're going to do is go to rename, control C, and go back into audacity, control V, save. Now in our audacity folder, we should be able to find the idol. Cool. Let's throw that in here. Replace the file. And boom. This horn asset is now finally ready to go. So now we're going to close out of it. Close out audacity. No, we don't need to save. Unless you're working on a big project. And then go back into Content Manager. Once back in Content Manager, let's go ahead and submit the edits. So now it's a CSX 6977's RS5T. Let's go ahead and list this asset in a new window. Copy the keyword. Now I want to put this on one of the Conway GP30s, right? CS. RW, it's not today, go back to install, type in the name of what you're wanting to replace, let's go to with the XLN, and now find your horn, your engine that you need, open, show and explore, go into the config, once in the config, find the horn sound, control V, make sure it's the keyword that you either just created or the keyword of the horn sound that you uh, want to put in here and save once all that is done submit edits and let's start trains and check it out all right now that we have trains open let's go and uh, have my locomotives placed here let's see how it sounds Very good. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done.
If you guys would like for me to actually release this horn onto the WIT Simulations website, then make sure to like, comment on down below on what you liked about this video and if it helped, and subscribe if you're new here. If you want to help support the website and the YouTube channel, check out the join button as well. We also have an ever-growing family in the Discord. If you guys would like to check that out, the link is also in the description below. But until next time, my friends, here at Conway Yard, I'll see you on down the line. Bye-bye!